today is a special mission day or evening. Normally we work uh, on the boat during the day, but today we have to go there during the night uh, because we have to mark the new waterline with the laser. That laser. Welcome to the shipyard. Today is a special mission. Uh, we're not working during the day, we're actually working during the night. Uh, we need the, the night time in order to see the laser here. Uh, the laser is going to allow us to uh, draw straight lines uh, on the hull uh, level uh, and mark exactly the areas, the lines that we want for the new water line. Uh, given the fact that we didn't mark properly when we were um, destroying the uh, the old uh, laminate when when it was wet and also that we created new bows uh, we now have to uh, kind of redo the job uh, and the old one wasn't exactly perfect either so uh, but we use it as a reference point in either way so we're going to use the photos and videos to reference that uh, we may not be able to do the full water line, but the, the objective is to get the bows and the transoms. Uh, and the reason we're not going to be able to get the, the full water line probably because this laser is only about 40, 50 degrees wide. And I don't think with that kind of angle we can get far enough out in order to uh, hit the transom and the bow at the same time of each hole. We're just not going to be able to get far enough. So we're going to have to borrow another one tomorrow uh, or use basically a string. Uh, because once we have the back and the front, we can do it all. So this is the objective today. Let's try it. So sorry guys, now it's time to turn off the lights. So now I'm here behind the camera cold very cold really dark so <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we have to turn off the lights because otherwise we're not going to see the laser yeah, so but we try and you're not going to see you it something. and you're not going to see it either <laughs> when I'm using a, a gyro uh, the boat isn't exactly horizontal so I actually have to use the uh, the lines from the boat to establish the uh, the horizon. So I'm kind of faking it. So I don't know if you guys can see this line. This is the this is the vertical. This is the vertical. It should be going for, straight for the center hull. And uh, you see the there is the line, the water line. Um, huh? And now we got to see if this is where we found the water line last time we tried it. It's a bit higher. It's right here. This is the new water line we found. So maybe we'll go that much higher just to be conservative. Uh, but we'll decide in a second. I have to see what it is on the other holes. There it is on the other holes. Check it out. Okay, and I need to go from here to here is uh, 56, yeah 56, so I gotta see if we're exactly level, so if the other side is exactly 56 to the, to the line then we have the level, then we can go up and down depending on what we think from the photos and videos. It's 57, so it's a, just literally a tad off. Yeah, 57 even and change, so we have to go like a bit this way. So I gotta raise the right leg just slightly.
and 54. So now we have a level. Uh, even though the level, the boat isn't exactly level with horizontal with the Earth's horizontal, so we couldn't use the gyro. I actually found a level based on uh, two points, two reference points on the uh, uh, on the outer hulls on the Amas. So we have the exact distances now on on both ends. So this way we have the the exact distance on, on this one, the, the same depth and the same depth on this one. And therefore, the same laser line that goes through the uh, center hole gives us exact same depth, right? So now the only part we have to find is how far up and down do we have to go? Uh, and that's more according to the pictures and videos. So we have found that we want to raise the water line about the current water line about two uh, centimeters up. So I'm going up right now. Can you see that? Anya, can you see that? Mm-hmm. 51.2, 51.5. And this one. Ooh. 51.5. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're going down a bit because I overdid it. We went up about four centimeters instead of two. So this should be okay. Uh, and judging by the uh, shapes, I think we should be all right. Okay, let's see. So now I'm marking the, uh, the lines here, reference points on the, on the uh, bows according to the laser, right? So now the trick is, if I go this high up, I kill the laser. Uh, all right, so now I want to mark the water line on the center bow. Okay. All right, and uh, left bow. And to find you, Vinach. This, this you can see very well. The reason I don't want to go too far back is because you start to get a bit of an error because of the curvature of the uh, of the hull. I want to actually place the uh, laser here in between the hulls, facing uh, as perpendicular as possible and at the same height as the line and then draw the line between the stern and the, and the, um, between the transom and the bow for each hull, of course. Our pulley. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so let's go check the transoms. I did them the other day, but I want to make sure that everything is indeed level and more or less to my liking as to how high they want to go. So we're going to double check with the photos and videos as well, as well as the, uh, the level itself. So I'm going to go right behind the, uh, the central transom. Set up over here. Go up. Catch level. Good? Goody or not? Because it's really light. But I'm really sleepy and it's really cold. Okay guys, we pretty much have it. We can't complete the whole thing. So, because the laser that we have only looks about this wide and we can't go far enough to, uh, to point and get the exact center 
at exact height in order to draw the entire line and see the entire line so there's no funny things going on. But the most important things are done. We have the points on the transoms and we have the points on the, on the bows that are at the right height and that's or the right depth when you submerge the boat. Um, which we are fairly confident that those are the right levels for the, for the new anti-fouling. And they're actually level all across the, all three hulls. Uh, so we're quite happy with that. And maybe we'll borrow a laser that's got a wider angle tomorrow and just finish the, the lines. Uh, unless we use some other method. But when, once we have these two points, you know, we can use other methods to, to draw the straight line. So, but for the moment it's done. Good night, Polly. Os segredos vêm da floresta de luz Pátia Mamá, Pátia Mamá Abre a consciência dos seus filhos a crescer